All right. So, ladies and gents, I feel like this is going to be a good one. We've got Fire, longtime pro, who, again, has been, you know, in the past, uh, in that top 10 conversation. Very solid player, super consistent, like so many of the Brazilian pros are. But Fire hasn't really been in that top 20 conversation. He's been playing in qualifiers over the last year or two, never having any deep runs anymore. He did play in Hidden Cup 2. He did play in Hidden Cup 1 to give you an idea. So that would have been 2018-ish. There's actually only a six-month gap between the first Hidden Cup and second month, if I remember. Um, but, you know, since then, in Hidden Cup and, of course, lots of other events, not really considered top 20 anymore. Uh, Fire played Hidden Cup 3 as well. Oh, did he? What was his name? Interesting. Well, Draken... Uh, Draken... It never reached the heights of fire, but Draken, I feel, has been getting better and better every year. He is known for being a player who is obsessed with Arena, but I need to give Draken respect because the man comes to play on other maps too. He seems like a very prepared player, and I know he takes competition seriously because of the amount of times that he has slightly saltily messaged me about settings. Now, I don't appreciate that all the time from Draken, but there's enough times where it's positive and fun, where I will kind of let it slide, I suppose. Draken wanted Arena in this, and he made sure to say that this is the worst map pool known to the history of man three weeks ago. So, we'll see if he can handle the worst map pool known to the history of man uh, in this series. He won the first round, and I actually think that he... Uh, I think he can win this, man. I, I think it's a 3-2 series. Like... The closed map on of Quarry is one that Draken would have really wanted and Fire wisely banned. But do, do you guys remember when Draken almost beat Leary on Arabia? I think Leary had Chinese as well, which is such a good save. It should be mentioned. With all the food you start with underneath this TC, Chinese is immediately one of the best saves. They can get the food that they lack, and they still start with the extra bills. But, um... Yeah, I, I just... I, I've seen Draken do it on open maps. He struggles with balance, but sometimes on open maps, you don't need that balance to compete with someone who's not like top 10 or top 15. Like, we are going to see a bunch of army, I guarantee it. So we'll see. Hmm. T90, I don't see that you actually added ELO ratings under the name. Would you guys like me to add the ELO here? Could someone do hashtag match? I can do that. I don't actually know right now. Draken hasn't played a lot of ladder in a long time. Fire's kind of like swinging up or down 200 elo. Okay, so 2k5 versus 2k2450. Yeah, so if ranked ladder means anything to you, I'd say that's fairly close. We'll put that up here. We'll make it 2450 for Drak. And I would have rounded up to 2500, but he was rude to me. So there we go. So um, Fire has gone for the outer wood line. And not the, the middle wood line. He scouted that draken has gone for the middle wood line. I did make a bet, by the way. And anyone who doesn't have a sub here on Twitch will appreciate this bet. I am willing to extend this bet to the main event. If we ever see heavy demo researched and completed on this map, I will give 50 subs. It has to be completed. <laughs> but you better believe if a doc is researching heavy demo... That I'm going to hope that Doc gets trepped down or something. So, we'll see. Tato, Tato is playing tomorrow. Oh, true. <laughs> Tato is playing tomorrow. Hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> Actually, this is really stupid because there's a very good chance a lot of the players are watching all the time. And if someone were to be winning, it might be in their mind. But, uh... All right, gold. Now for Draken. Draken's going to try and go for Militia here. And he looked everywhere to find fire, and now he's going to find fire. Now fire will not know his opponent's doing this. Look at fire's vision here. Fire saw the wood line, and that's about it. And if these militia get across before fire realizes, this could be devastating to fire. Fire's super clean. He doesn't really thrive in messy games, but, like, you don't get ahead of him, and it's just like a scout battle... I'm always going to give him the advantage. Now, Fire's going to be wondering, but that barracks being up, where's the follow-up building? Where's the stable? Is there anything here? He's looking. He's looking. He misses the militia. 
And I, I really don't like... Um, I'm really not a fan of double lumber camp on the outside. But maybe he doesn't want to take risks and be on the front with the Chinese. You're like sending your villager lead in an exposed area. So that could be part of it. Still hasn't seen a follow-up building here from Draken. Draken has 400 wood, so it really is something that he should do. Draken looking for damage, hoping to surprise the enemy, is going for the loop-de-loop. -loop. Honestly, on a map with no deer to push, I do have to be critical of fire, like, in some ways. I, I think you always have to see this. He did see the gold, though, so I think he's suspicious of it, and he notices. That's really good heads-up play from Fire. Sure, he didn't scout the man-at-arms, but he actually squeezed in Town Watch there for vision, prepped a tower on the front, which is interesting, and was really looking around to see, you know, what the opponent's up to. And Draken's man-at-arms will find no value. Yet. Until these trees are chopped. And that's not going to take that long. So behind this... Draken, he hasn't actually gone for an archery range. He's gone for a second mill on food. This might be man at arms into scouts. I mean, there's lots of food available for this map. I wouldn't hate it. And then maybe if he just camps the wood, eventually the units have to come to the middle and then maybe you make a demo. That's what everyone here wants to see. Let's start here from Draken. Known for his arena play, but he can play other maps as well. Draken, will he focus on this? He does. Good micro. Had to defend over here as well. Well done. Still no follow-up military building for Draken, which is wild. Fire. Going for the standard follow-up. He goes counter-attack, which makes sense. And then he goes skirmishers. And he does get some valuable hits there with the spearmen. That's what you want. You want to weaken that scout. Well played there from fire. Draken realizes that. Draken does have an idol on that wood line, I'm noticing, but he might pick up on that soon. And still no stable or anything? It's crazy. But then again, he hasn't taken any losses. Fire's had a minute of TC idle time, so clearly struggling a little bit with the food. And Spearman running into a Komodo dragon there. Res collected, better for fire, makes sense. Started with more vills, has cheaper text with the Chinese. And I don't know what Draken's follow-up plan is here, but it sure is in scouts and it sure is in archers. At least not immediately here. He's going to go for the scouts. I mean, scouts make sense when your opponent's going skirms. And now the man-at-arms seeing the vills. And they don't seem to care. Draken just going to move on around. Maybe meet up with some spearmen on the other side. I love the, the food situation for Draken. He's almost finished the berries here. He's got eight farms there. Fire, for example, has got three farms. Why are we... <sighs> I don't like the wood situation. I just... You, you cleared up your opponent's army. He's got no army. This is going to be much safer for you and much more efficient. But Fire, it might feel like he's scared. First game of the series, unsure of what's out there. Maybe a little Tunnel Vision. Stole that from the username in my chat, Tunnel Vision 99. Thank you, Tunnel Vision 99. Another stable for Draken. So he goes from no scouts to all the scouts. Um, and he's. He might surprise Fire here. Draken's a confusing player to play against. He doesn't have the timings your normal land map players will have. And I think that could be a weakness for Fire. Fire's like pretty predictable in what he'll do all the time. Might not thrive all that well against something like this. Because you're also like, oh my god, he's playing arena. Is he fast castling? He's on gold? He's made no army. What is he doing here? Maybe overconfidence too? It's like, okay. I'll just kill him now. Like, what, This guy's crazy. Actually would be sick if Draken immediately counterattacked. But he has to defend this, and this will be good for Fire, because Fire can see this, realizes what's going on, and now he knows to prep himself at home. He's even walling up right now. Hmm. Scouts. Still moving around. Spears still moving around. It'll be way more scouts for Draken. 
This should be a clear eventually, but there's two spears in there, and fire is going to get the forging upgrade. If the spears weren't there, Draken would engage, but now he's scared. And this is the point of this map, dude. Like, look, you run out of all the berries, and look at all the farms you got to place. You can't actually farm around this mill, which is pretty annoying. Fire, same deal. Like, I encourage you guys, if you really want to get a feel for the, how awkward this map is to play and how the best players make it look easy, just go play a game. You can download the map pack. Just go play a game against a bot even. I don't know what the bot's going to do, actually, but... When you run out of some resources, it gets really awkward. More spears here for fire. I'm not sure. He, Draken realizes there's more spears in here. He's going to take the engagement. I feel like fire is going to be very much okay with this. There was a lot more scouts for Draken in there. Draken ends the fight with five scouts. And fire still got five scouts on the map. That's a pretty good fight for fire, I think. I think. He probably expected it to go better with four spears in there, but... Frank Scouts, always very strong. And yep, more and more farmers back here for Draken. Fire is having a wood shortage. And and I think it was kind of doable for him to have been able to place a lumber camp here and wall it in. It could be Fire. I know he's got a he's got a job. I think he's a teacher. I actually don't know. I don't know how many like really big Fire fans are out there. I know he, he, when I saw the scheduling, he's talking about like being home from work and such. So full-time job. Gotta be responsible, you know. And uh, so maybe he doesn't have as much time for training and whatnot. Maybe he didn't realize how important the wood is. But as I say that, he shows up here to attack Draken. Draken notices this though. Oh, he's in med school. Oh, is he in med school? Okay. Well, that that's uh, got to be stressful, right? And, man, I want to see a demo. Make a doc, people. Don't Chinese have a demo bonus? Don't they have more HP on their uh, demos as well? I think they do. That is, I only know that because of community games, but I'm pretty sure their demos are really good. Which could be helpful. I think Draken was expecting to be vulnerable here. Fire is back here. And Fire is going to have an archer here, which is going to freak Draken out a little bit. Fire's on the way to the next stage. Pretty close game. It just feels like the same level here, right? Oh, oh God. Oh, I take it back. Oh, man. Draken, I don't think he realized this was open. And Fire's going to find some damage here. Now, his army might get trapped, but Draken... It felt like everything was going according to plan until this moment. He loses three villagers. And Fire has been looking for damage for so long. Finally finds it. And now Draken doesn't have these scouts headed over towards fire as well. So this is really nice. Yeah. Players like fire, they're going to like this control. Now you feel like you definitely have the lead being Chinese and getting those three bill picks. And now fire, for the love of God, if I see another lumber camp here, he has invested 500 wood into building lumber camps in an area where you will just run out of wood. If you could please just build a TC here or something. I would feel much better about your situation. Draken lost the tower. Wait, what? Did fire attack the foundation? Sorry, hold on. What? I think he must have. So fire had... So Draken hit the tower, right? The tower at this point... I can't even click it. It's at 6 HP. Fire took out the... He took out the tower foundation there, too. That's brutal. That's brutal. Sorry. Back to live time now. Um, So, at, at this point, neither player has the stone, then, to be able to drop town centers. That's, that's going to be a frustrating one for Draken. He could buy it back if he has a market. There it is. And what did we say about Draken and balance? He's obviously got good enough balance to be a great player, but he's going three stables here. I love it. Lots of extra scouts that he can upgrade. I love that too. Upgrades are good enough. Fight's actually not the best. You, you need to focus fire down the spears there. And you've got knights coming over here from fire. Now, Chinese, they should be pretty happy to try and boom here. Looks like also two villagers were killed here by Draken. That was a nice distraction. 
It's probably why the fight in the front wasn't quite as we thought it would go, because he was focused there. Draken has a scout, or fires scouts out here on the extra gold. Very weak scouts at that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, with Chinese having camels and the better economy, it always feels better to be the Chinese here. And Draken, I think, will struggle to stabilize against a player like Fire in these moments. Let's see, though. Does defend here. Is microing here. Is microing here. He found an area in this exposed region of the map where Fire is not able to pay attention. Also defended very nicely. Should be another Vil pick there. He's moving along. He's going to leave this wood line because Fire likes bad wood. And yeah, like, you're going to clear this, right? I think Fire just needs to bolt over here, drop a town center. It's just the one thing in my mind that's making me think that Draken has a chance. But I also have seen a lot of games where players actually just boom out here. I think maybe the wood situation is not as bad as I think. But there's four camels out there. And there's monks. Draken's going to find it very difficult to get damage. And Draken, you can't complain about monks here, my friend. All right? That's how it works, right? If you're an arena player, you can't complain if it's a fast conversion. Uh, why is the game speeding up? Why is the game speeding up? Counter damage. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Game is speeding up. Oh, boy. Big attack. Oh, boy. And, um, well, big fight here from Fire. And I'm sorry, folks. You would have known if I slowed it down. Fire was starting to snowball it. I won't do that for the next one. I suck. And Fire would have been on three TCs. He would have had a wood line in the middle. And Fire gets the job done in the first game. And it was not quite... As aggressive as some Arabia players will bring to the table, but I think Fire felt like, as long as I don't die to this guy with this Civ and in this matchup player-wise, I will win. And well played from Fire. I know I was a little critical at times of like some of it, but he did a good job defending from the initial rush. Draken didn't do any damage with it. And he just played very clean, man. Just played very clean. So yeah, basically there's a there's a this is a live game. And um there's a spectator delay for, you know, fairness reasons, and I had fast forward on, and so it it did that. I'm sorry. My bad. So, I have a prediction here. And this prediction comes from games that I played against Draken on Islands that I wish I could forget from, like, two years ago. You see, a lot of people like to go for fires... Uh, or sorry, a lot of people like to go for galleys right now. And if they're gonna go... For um, fires in Feudal, it normally doesn't work out too well against the galleys. But Draken has a sieve that gets plus, 100, uh, plus 200 wood when he gets to the next stage. I think he will know that fire is going to want like this easy breezy build with the Italians. And I think that Draken is going to go triple dock, like crazy forward dock, crazy pressure. Now, bad news for me, it's either going to be that or it's going to be Fast Castle. I actually think back docking and squeezing in some fishing ships and going Fast Castle is really nice with the Dravidians. In Titans League, we saw a lot of uh, Fast Castling with Dravidians because all that extra wood you get really helps you there. So I'm honestly not really sure. Fire, though, used to be seen as one of the best players in the world on islands. Uh, but, I mean... Before Hidden Cup 5, when's the last time you've seen Islands? It's been a long time! <laughs> it's been a long time, so I really don't think there's a pecking order now. I think Viper was always seen as really good, but... Freezing Point with some history says, In Masters of Islands, back in 2016, Draken lost to Tato 3-0. Tato then lost 3-0 to Fire, before winning through the loser's bracket and losing 4-3 to Fire in the Grand Finals. Yep, so that is why Fire was always seen as the best Islands player. Now, back then, you could not produce fires in Feudal. That was not an option. And uh, so it was pretty much just galleys. And because the galley mass would get so big, no one would really ever make Castle Age fires. So the water met is a lot better. Draken! Uh, nice save. Very nice save. He chose to go with the Palisade, too. If you misclick that, it doesn't reset the boar. Uh, well played. Slight anxiety. Fine. Okay, cool. And I'll slow the game down just so there's no spoilers. T90, can you leave Draken as purple? No. I cannot. 
blue and purple colorblindness is a very real thing. So that would be horrible for uh, a percentage of the audience that this is not horrible for. So, But if Draken makes the main event, I know he likes to pick purple, and that's something we'll definitely talk about. Because player color definitely gives us some types of, of things to go off of. Alright, so chat, which is better? This is a, is a supreme test of your knowledge. At this point, it has been a week and a half, two weeks. Which is better, galleys or fires? Let's see. What do you think? Oh, man. Alright, so chat did pretty good. Chat did pretty good. There's way more depends than fires or, or galleys. Um, the answer is, if I can't say it depends, it's complicated. But let me break it down to you. In Feudal, the galleys, once you get to about five or six of them, can so easily force the issue, micro down the fires, and they feel much better. We have seen games where the galleys dominate, and all the galley bros out there are like, you see, galleys are great. But the problem then is, is in early castle, if the timing's right on the fi upgraded fire ships, even just a couple upgraded fire ships, can snipe all the fish, can snipe all the galleys, and so it does become more complicated then. So it's kind of on, like, the galley player to use that advantage early in Feudal, and then from there, um, snowball it to something much greater. Um, then you have early Imperial Age. Fast Fire is pretty good against upgrade or galley, but then later on, galleon becomes important. So I know there's some people out there love this map. Other people out there are just like, rah, get upset. But listen, at the end of the day, uh, the way I see it, there's a lot of, like, interesting timings and just very unique strategy con concerning Age of Empires 2 at this point, right? Because you just don't have maps which incorporate full water utilized a lot. So, Draken, what was my prediction? Triple dock, right? He's going five fishing ships. Five fishing ships. Fire's going back dock, double dock. This is not fast castle for fire. Um... Fires the Italians, cheaper fishing ships, cheaper to go up to the next age, cheaper dock techs. I think they're the number one water sieve. But if there's a sieve that really competes, it's probably Armenians. I just haven't been able to cast Armenians because they're banned so frequently. I think Armenians are actually the most banned sieve because of islands. Um, and yeah, there's the second dock from Draken. So I would guess this is... Oh god, don't build that mining camp. Thank you. I would guess that this is actually galleys for Draken because it's just two docks and it is just two docks from fire. Kind of interesting. They both could have been up faster. Like these are pretty greedy builds from both of them with the amount of fish they added and how the timing is a bit closer to 10 minutes, but fires from Draken. Interesting. Well, if you're going to go fires and you want a chance to overwhelm in feudal, I would say three docks is the play, and I expected that because look at his wood count. But I think he's already thinking about going to Castle Age in time. There's the third dock. Yeah, this gold is actually really bad for Draken if water control is taken, but so is this. Castle Age war galleys deny this gold as well. I noticed that, but I think if you, if you have lost water to the point where the area in the very back of your base is a problem, I think you also have bigger problems. Hmm. Fire's on the way. I think everyone with the Italians has always gone back or side dock, but there's definitely some level of adaptation here. Fire passes the neutral island... Er, Draken, sorry. Passes the neutral islands. This is a big neutral island. Yeah, okay, so he knows now that's a neutral island. He's headed this way, which is the wrong way. He doesn't see anything on the front, and he's still moving. And then Fire, he also is headed into the darkness. And Fire knows there's a fire on the way. Firewolf three docks. The, he's going to have a couple galleys. He's going to add a demo, being scared of two fires, but it's just going to be one. And this should be fine for fire to hold from. Maybe he loses a fishing ship. But two fires would be a worry. This much is not. Here comes fire now. 
The fire's on the way to find the fish. Choosing to go to the front. You should always go to assume the front if the opponent goes fires, right? Because they're looking to really pressure quickly. And like we said, Draken is not planning to win the water right now. He's hoping to have enough pressure, and he wants Castle Age, which is really where fires win this little duel. And one fire here is enough to push back two galleys. The galleys could still go for the fish, though, so Draken needs to micro them. We'll not lose that fishing ship, actually. And Draken is getting Loom, which could be because he just wants to be safe. But it also could mean he wants his villagers to be Loomed because he wants to transport. So I don't really know, but there's been zero kills. But, I mean... Very different build orders here. And another dock here from Draken. I think Loom was just to play it safe because his shoreline vill is out there. Why does a fire galley have oars, but a common galley does not? Very good question. Why do why is no one in the ship rowing the oars? All very important points. It never really bothers you until someone says it, and then you look at the oars not rowing, and it makes you sad. Maybe you should garret. You should be able to garrison in a fire ship, and then they move faster because you have men in there, or women, you know, just rowing. Yeah, I guess the sail, right? This has a sail, but this is more for steering, and this is a sail, which is more for speed. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. We actually had a good answer there. Look at the amount of... Fire's making a trade cog! Fire made a trade cog! Disaster! This is a... This is a tournament, man. 10k qualifier. Fire's clicked the trade cog. Looks too much like a fire ship. Hey, devs. Maybe we can get a dock rework and put the trade cog to the second page. If the pros even make the mistake, huh? Like, my uncle messaged me, Hey, why have they still not fixed the dock? Why is the trade cog on the front page? Because I had to explain it about it. Let's explain it to him. At a funeral, by the way. That was very important to him. And anyways, it's not a big deal. I mean, it is. That's an expensive ship that you can't use. Like, at least a demo ship can go boom. But here comes fire with the trade heist, and he realizes. And, and, and... 36 gold. Headed back home. It's a strategy. But yeah, that was not a strategy he intended to go for. Fire won the last Islands Only tournament, which just so happens to have been eight years ago. And he is going to try and transport now, as I think he realizes, oh no, oh no, oh no, it's going to be a shipwreck. Gold at the bottom of the ocean for someone to find. And oh god, oh no, oh no, fire! Fire is fleeing from the fire. Villager needs to survive. Villager, go, 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 go. Uh, do you want to die by drowning or to that scout? Mm, well, this is actually the best option is just continue to stay in the transport ship. The transport ship is actually faster than the fire. <laughs> this is quite a distraction. Draken's dominating him right now, though. Fire is really struggling. We'll drop a second TC. <laughs> this is really funny. <laughs> this is stupid. War galley upgrade in from fire. <laughs> and the transport's still there. No, 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 no! Ah! Ah! Oh my god, fire with the god tier micro. He baited him. I think he forgot about it, but the transport continues. And I mean, again, meanwhile, is losing his docks. Draken has played this great. And it's just, you know, the galleys weren't able to do anything. <laughs> the villagers lives. The villager lives. Imagine if that actually pays off in some way. Fire will not want to resign. Obviously, he's still in this game. He wants to get his TCs up as quickly as possible. It feels like a community game. We've seen trading with the enemy, and we've seen a villager in the corner. But, oh! Rip. Sorry, villager. At least you got to see a little bit more of the world. Um, 
F's in chat. To pay respects, please, to Dead Villager. He was not the one. I love the eco from Draken right now. I love the timings from Draken. I love the storylines to this series, right? I love the fact that Draken still has his first Civ remaining on the draft. It's his turn to make a transport. We'll see if that one makes it wherever he's looking to send it. Now, Fire's doing a good thing here. He's going to use the monks from the shoreline to convert ships, and that means that Draken won't engage. And Fire's also looping around with these fires. I think Draken thinks he has full water dominance now. He's expecting to be able to fish, and he could lose his fishing ships because of this. This is a really nice find for Fire. Italians, it's cheaper to go up to the next stage, cheaper dock tech, so many things to recover from. And res collected's not really that different right now. This will be a really nice find for Fire's confidence. Because he hasn't had fishing ships, right? Now at this point, you're feeling like you're pretty even there. So Draken is making monks to get the relics on his island. Wow, holy idle time here for Draken. He just finished the berries. How many farms? Draken, five farms? Fire? Ooh, 16 farms. That could definitely lead to a faster imp here for Draken. Uh, for Fire, sorry. What a great job from Fire to get his balance down. And also snipe the fishing ships. That's really impressive. He's made that look easy. But again, just like super consistent. He can make the trade cog. He can have the villager who goes bon, vo bon voyage. But he can still be so solid behind it. And this is Draken's time now. With not pure water dominance, but a lot of it. To try and force the issue and try and gain some advantages. And the advantage right now would be start getting these relics. Before this gets tough to control... Before this goes imp, get those relics home. But that's a lot of multitasking. Also, Draken made scouts? What? Yeah, he made scouts? He made spearmen? All because of that transport ship. So if you think about it, one villager, right? In a transport ship, forced a barracks and forced a stable from a sieve that doesn't even get knights. That might have actually paid off. <gasps> Monks, run away! Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away! Fire is going to kill the monks, Draken! Oh, that's brutal. 200 gold down the drain. How? That's my question. How? Poor Draken, he has the units out there, but he just stopped patrolling the front. I think he's thinking about the more creative things, like maybe fire docking on the back. And Fire was also back here, and now look at that. Fire kills those monks. He goes to dock on the front, and Fire's going to click up to Imp. And I think, even though the eco count's there for Draken, he's really struggling with balance. 41 on wood. And just now getting his farm count up to what we saw Fire was at before. Fire can absolutely win this. Fire's on his way to the Imperial Age. Look at the res collected. Look at the difference. Actually, it makes no sense to me, because I was expecting Fire to have more food. So, who knows what that even means. Draken still has 16 ships, and Fire has, like, 3 or 4. And he's chose to dock the front, which if that's spotted, those docks can actually get taken out here. But I think maybe the monks would be enough for Draken to, to need to back away. We will see. We have learned that transport ships are not the way. We have learned that both of these players have flaws. They are human. They are not robots. No beep boop. Beep boop boop here. And uh, I, I just, again, I need to credit Fire, win or lose. It's been bad for him at times, but he's found ways to just keep it competitive. And it's really fun to watch. Like, you're completely outnumbered, you're completely outboomed, and yet you're still distracting your opponent. Draken is going to see this imp time. Scouts! Scout rush! Let's go! Let's go! Okay, well, uh, scouts are gonna go in for the monks. That's perfect. That's amazing. And now Draken doesn't have to worry about the monks. And now Draken will know that fire is here. We've seen so many transports in this game. And I think Imp is gonna scare Draken big time. But 
know, this this is all super nice, right? To have taken out some docks, to disrupt the houses a little bit, to see everything on the front. The difference between fast fire and regular fire ship isn't that insane. So if you have a numbers advantage, you can still hold against it here if you're Draken with a couple demos. But obviously, Draken needs to go up to Weep! As MBL so famously screamed during a Hidden Cup 3 qualifier cast with me. Can someone confirm? What? I, I, no, it's it. Never mind. I remember. It will be Catwatch MBL in the next round of the qualifier. Three minutes until Draken is in the Imperial Age. Fire with fast fire now on the way. Fire is in his name. There should be level of bonus damage involved in that, but there's not. He's making a transport, which tells me he wants to maybe land some units. Or maybe he wants to snag these monks. Uh, relics, rather. Fast fire is such a big window here. Now, I would love it if fire, if he senses he has a lead. I think snagging ship right is always so important in the late game here. Draken can't lose this game. If Draken loses this game, I think his hope is gone for the series. You gotta win this one. This is one of your home maps. This is what I mean. Like, Castle Age fire ships can hold. With those numbers, you can hold no problem. And fire's numbers are growing, but it's still at 7. And it is still 19 fires for Draken. We might see the unique ship for the Dravidians. The range ship that Theresa died. Um, lots of docks going up here for Draken. Lots of wood in the bank for Draken. That's all good. Here comes fire. This seems like he wants to castle this middle island, which would be a really nice position. Hmm. Talk about prime demo territory. Boom! Regular demos. Oh, that's a perfect demo right there. It hit three ships. Yeah, fire hasn't been able to bring it back. Fire thought Faster Imp would do it for him. Hasn't done it yet, but I like the castle. Maybe it's just easier for Fire to just build the monastery here. That's fine. That's a lazy man's way of doing it. He needs to get those relics in. And he needs to hold that advantage over Draken if he can. I think Draken wants the same thing. These villagers are actually headed this way for the transport. And he's an Imp. He's going to get Fast Fire. Still able to land some nice demos here against Fire. Fire micros away, but still a nice hit. And now here comes Draken. And this is very fitting for this game. It is a bad day to use the transport ship. <laughs> uh, uh, buddy, get back in. <laughs> get back in. Run, 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 run. No. <laughs> uh, okay, well. Nice job there from Fire. Got the position much faster than Draken did. Draken and maybe didn't expect that. <laughs> We've had so many shorts for the shorts channel and TikTok and whatnot with the with the clips. And Fire gets the transport here. Can Draken see that? He cannot. So he's actually he's doing all the best water things. He's going for shipwright which is huge for the long run. You save so much on your ships. And like, he's got the more docks than fire from what I can see, but he does not know that fire is here. And condos in his eco is going to freak him out. And this gives fire to, time to potentially hold. Fire is behind, but not massively. He's got four relics to two. He has one of the islands controlled and he's taking more res there. And you just, you really have to outpost here if you're Draken. But it's not something I can be that critical of when so much is happening. Ooh, careening now on the way. That's an interesting upgrade for Draken to be missing. That's careening, right? Oh, that's dry dock. Excuse me. Okay. It looks similar. And condos are in. Fire is building a castle. And Draken is going to be so upset to see this. He thought it was a water fight. But it's not just water. It's condo time. And this could end the game. Oh, man. Because Fire's fights on water are good enough. And Draken does not realize this. He's just looking at this. He's dropping a castle because of water. He wants those relics. Draken! Draken! Notice it! Disaster for Draken. 
But what a great move from Fire, man. Because Fire, you know, he could possibly have some problems here against the Dravidians. He he'll miss some of those techs we talked about. Okay, Draken noticed. That condo raid did such damage there. Draken still has the score lead. Big old water battle here. Draken still taking some nice fights, actually. And Fire is ahead in Vils now, though. And still has those relics and has one of the islands. Fire, happy to drop siege workshops. Happy to make a trip. Draken, making some Yurumis to chase down the, uh, the condos. And... Momentum-wise, it's all with fire right now. Because he can control a lot of this wood. He can control a lot of Draken's attention in this area now. But still taking some pretty four fights here. And Draken still in this one. Crazy. Normally, bo normally players would have switched to Galleon. But it feels like they're so stressed... And, and the fights are happening with such consistency that no one wants to switch to Galleon right now because it'll take too much time. But Fire does have Bracer. Um, so that, it, it should be easier for him. And I really like this castle for Fire. Really like that fight for Fire. I really like the score for Fire. I like the siege for Fire. I like the condos for Fire. Oh, Draken has lost 47 eco in this game. Draken can't get to those islands, man. Felt like he had a big lead here, Draken. He had a massive lead. But there was no... He didn't really do too much to stop fire from docking again. And I, I remember even the relics like on this island, right? The amount of control that fire somehow I was able to gain here. Uh, something that Draken will be kicking himself for. Yeah, you cannot go... You, you are too at the limit resource-wise, if you're Draken, to go for range units. It has to be just fires. I think that fire... <laughs> this is so confusing. I think that fire can switch out of fires because of his position. And, I mean, this is just such... This landing has started it all. Trebs, Bombard Cannons, Condos, they produce so quickly. And just crazy control and value from this. And if you're Draken, I mean, you might get these relics, but you can't push. This becomes a water fight soon, and you can't conceivably push towards these castles. And you still have this to deal with. He's going to try archers? Archers against Bombard Cannons? I mean, ugh, just, just, again, just feels bad. What do you even make? What do you even make as Dravidians against the condos? Whatever it is, it takes so long to get into. The condo, you don't have to research anything but the Imperial Age, which you're going to do anyways. And it's just another tool the Italians have to be able to contest on this map. Fire wants to drop another castle. And and then a TC. I mean, why not? Maybe it's a TC and then the castle. Only thing I'm missing from Fire to show me he's got a chance to win this game is Galleon upgrade. And Fire says, why would I do that when I can go for Bombard Tower? Bombard Tower? Let's go! I mean, these Bombards are already doing enough. Oh, jeez, man. Yeah, crossbow. Look at the Q for Draken. He's spending so much of his wood, so much of his gold on crossbows to defend his own island now. Fire now getting ballistics. Fire going to add skirmishers. And it was just this landing. I felt the game was very close. At, but, you know, Draken had the superior eco. And then ever since this landing, it's like Fire has done such a good job with it. And look at his economy, too. 145 bills. Four relics. Neutral access to stone and gold. He took all the stone already. This island paid for this. And then he still has the gold. And he's never really been troubled massively on Navy. Why no demo demos in these big fire battles? If it was heavy demo, you would definitely see it, but it definitely has less of an effect. Um, so I think, you know, players are really going to want units that stay in the battle, in future battles as well. Now, this is just a castle foundation. Fire hasn't actually placed anything yet. And Draken committing to clearing this up. Draken may be feeling like if he can clear up his island, he can win this game. He's trying his best right now. Still lost a lot of Arbalest, though. And I, I mean, pretty soon, 
He may run out of resources. Look at him. Look at this. This situation is not good. And he still doesn't have an easy answer to the traps. Shipwright for fire now? And yeah, that tells me he will go into Galleon. These castles, again, just perfectly placed. Just protect so much. Look at this castle. Fire knows. Draken. <laughs> okay, he does make it to the island. Finally. Um, okay. The villager, their jobs have been taken by the military. And these villagers are upset about it. They have nothing to live for anymore. They have nothing to do. So they are fighting back. And the villagers are boxing down the trebs. And fair play to them. They took one of them. The history books will remember them. But they are, well, interesting. This actually seems like a bug. Because it, it didn't say anyone's defeated here. But, um, I, I mean, we know that Fire is probably going to win this game. It doesn't say anything. Out of sync. Thanks, DE. The game went out of sync. Second time today. That's not anyone resigning. But wait, 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 wait. It's it out of sync. The game stopped playing, and I just saw GG. Okay, so... At the very least, the, the desync happened when the game was already over, and it still showed chat. But we, we kind of missed the conclusion there. Uh, Draken dropped the GG well played. Fire is now up 2-0. All right, so game three, sorry. Fire won the previous game and the game before that. Fire was the favorite here, but I did feel like Draken had a chance. Now, my feeling was Draken really needed to tie it up. He needed to win the previous game. But now we look to his map and see how good his map is because he's gone for somewhat of a risky pick in the Cumans here. It doesn't surprise me that much. Uh, Draken is a more unique player. He does like to be greedy. And the Cumans going fast feudal into a second TC would seem fitting. The big thing you want is you want the safe gold and you want that to be near a wood line. So I could see him building a TC here in feudal. That would be a pretty decent option. Uh, now, we had to fix Gold Rush a couple times. We made the map much fairer in a patch. But then, like, 2% of the time, a uh, resource wouldn't spawn. So we then had to fix that, too. And we've done a bunch of testing on it. And everything looks pretty good here. Now, the Georgians, they love their Manaspa. And I literally just said, it's like Georgian win rate hasn't really been that good. But the wins that the Georgians have had have always been remembered because of the crazy unique unit. And you need stone. So stone's a little bit exposed. But how do you punish the cumin boom? Knight siege is what a lot of people do, but siege needs to come from the front, and there are wolves here. Now, you could venture through the middle to avoid those wolves, but that requires some scouting. And this is just not a map where it was designed to be very easy to be, uh, to go forward or, like, you know, be that aggressive in feudal. And... There's reasons for that. We don't have a map with stone walls. So a map like Quarry, a map like Gold Rush, it felt like having two maps which were somewhat closed, but there's still other game elements and still lots of things you had to do skill-wise. Um, felt natural to have combined with some of the other things. So uh, someone's asking about the next series. There is no other series after this. So this will be the end for today. Uh, at the conclusion of today... There will have been like seven or eight sets today, though, so I will sum up the uh, I will sum up the day and talk about what happened. Maybe Draken could go for mind games here, and maybe Draken could consider going for actual military. But I think there is more guarantee that you are going to get a lead if you go for the second TC than if you were to uh, go for military. I think Draken's good enough with the boom approach that he can just go towards that here. Fire, of course, a mule card sieve using his mule card here. The Georgian started with it, so shout out to any mules and any cards out there watching. I still maintain that does not look like gold, and it looks like a potato. I, I just don't think it's not a big deal, but I look at the gold. I look at the mule cart. And, oh, people said bananas. Ooh, banana. No, not bananas. What about, um, shoot, what's the, what's the, plantains. Plantains are a little bit dirtier, 
right? Aren't they like a little bit darker? Yams, maybe? Yeah, somewhere in there. That is not gold. It's just not. Fix it, devs. <laughs> while you're at it, it, while we're talking about really important things that the game needs, can we please give the Tarkins back their thump? For the love of God, they don't thump anymore. They're just silent. Unplayable! No wonder no one's picked tons. Okay, scouts are engaging. Hmm. Fire will will not be surprised by a fast feudal from his opponent. So you don't want to linger around this scout for too long. However, Georgian scouts will... Um, Georgian Cav does regenerate over time. So in a scout war, the Georgian should have the edge. You'll see it at the bottom left. It's very slow in Dark Age. Or do they not have any in Dark Age? Oh, I should know this. It's either really minimal in Dark Age or the bonus starts in Feudal. Um, I think if it would be consistent with other scout bonuses, it should only start in Feudal. Like Frank HP, Human Speed bonus. I think it starts in Feudal. Okay. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, having it be in Dark Age would be weird. That's a good decision. Fire, uh, gonna go for scouts, it seems. Where is the best TC spot for Draken? Again, I think here. And he's sending the bills. Don't place it next to the berries, though. No, 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 no. Don't place it next to the berries. Where are you going to farm? Oh, I hate this! Ah, I don't like it! I mean, ideally, you could, like, farm around your mill, farm around your TC, and then this TC could be on this area of the wood. You could take the wood and then also take the gold. It's still a second town center. He still can get a good eco lead. It's not GG, Frank Muncher. But I'm just not a fan. It doesn't really do much for me. I like the walls here for Draken, though. And Fire needs to verify what his opponent's up to. And Fire is going to be just as confused as we are when he sees the TC. He's looking. He can kill the goats. Oh, 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 oh my god! From bad to worse here for Draken. What a play from Fire. Fire, there was no TC to garrison into yet. And Draken wanted some of the goats to this TC. And uh, 200 food down. Now, okay, Fire, Wolf Rush him. Wolf Rush him, bro. He didn't send the Spearman here initially to Wolf Rush. But now he should Wolf Rush. Let's go. Woo, 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 woo. Yep, yep, get that one. Good. Get the next one. Good. Good. Spearman's dead. That Spearman will not survive. Yup. Get another one along the way. Let's go. Now, funnily enough, if Draken would have TC'd where I said he should have, this Wolf Rush would do more. Because you can't drop the wolves off at the berries and actually kill Vils now. But it's still annoying. Just go there and delete it. <laughs> Let's go! Dodge them all! Let's go! Go to the gold! Go to the gold! Fire, go to the gold! And then just delete the spear at the gold. Woo, woo, woo! Oh, please, delete it. Delete it. Delete it. Yes! Thank you! And now, what's hilarious is Draken doesn't see this, right? He doesn't know. I mean, I'm sure he'll pick up on it. But now, if you want to go take that safe gold that you have walled in... Oh my god, poor Draken. Oh my god, this is just, it's just not his day. He is having a no good, very bad day. He could have won the previous game. It's probably still in his mind. And now he's got scouts in his walls and he's got wolf on his gold. <laughs> and uh, here I am laughing at the poor guy. But we're not laughing at him. We're laughing at the situation he has to endure, which isn't better but makes me feel better morally. Oh, Fire's just trolling him at this point. Fire's just patrolled the scouts, so the TC would hit. Fire is just... I mean, how would you feel if you're Draken? I would feel so utterly ho helpless. And unfortunately, if you didn't see the previous games, like game one, fairly close. Game two, very close. Draken could have won. Draken still got a villager lead. I just can't wait. Like, he doesn't have any army. So Fire should just sit here. And Fire should just wait it out. You know what's funny? 
there's a very good chance Draken can still win this game. I know it's looked bad, but like we've seen so many games with the humans where if you don't do significant damage to them, their eco is ridiculous. And he's got a 10 worker lead. 10 worker lead and these scouts aren't going to kill anything. And, you know, realistically, the wolves will be annoying, but not kill anything either. And we'll see fire click up when fire clicks up to castle. He won't have any villagers on the way because the TC will be doing that job. And there's there's just two TCs pumping this whole time. Like, this eco is crazy for Draken. That is true. Fire does have a four wolf lead. And fire continues to just double check to see what his opponent is going to do. He also is keeping an eye on the middle gold, which Draken could absolutely take. That's really smart thinking from Fire. I would love to see him collect these wolves. And then sit them on this gold. That would be next level. Or as we say, especially in Hidden Cup times, next lever. And, okay. All is good. We're taking our gold. <laughs> and now the wolves show up. And in a synchronized attack, fire is using nature to disrupt his opponent. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. <laughs> uh, gotta love it so funny players don't utilize the wolf rush and like so many people make spears actually since we have a lot of brazilians here i was pissed at dogal when he didn't do it against lewis in round one it's round one dogal's the big favorite dogal was fully walled his opponent was wide open he had two extra wolves and what did the guy do he just killed all the wolves that were attacking his spearmen he should have lured him up i was disappointed but why, uh, Dogal's brain does not work like mine, which is why Dogal is Dogal, so. But I think it is genuinely, even though it's funny, it is actually good and something you should possibly incorporate if you have a leftover spear. Fire is 20 villagers behind. That is insanity, right? That is crazy talk. And what is his plan to catch up? He's bringing two villagers. Fire still running around, forcing idle time from his opponent, distracting Draken. But Draken has done the right thing to take the safe gold. Here comes Fire, and Fire will want a forward siege workshop, and that is his target. He needs to siege push this. And Draken needs to click up. So, bit of bit of unique age history here. So a town center. It costs wood and it costs stone, right? <clears throat> and in the past, meaning like for the majority of the time that this game existed uh, on all versions, you could not, like when you would repair a town center, you would not spend stone to repair it. It would only be wood. However, as finally a villager goes down, nice play from fire, man. This is so good. Um, for whatever reason, you needed to have at least one stone in the bank in order to be able to spend wood to repair it. So, like, I can probably reference old videos. I, I can think of one right now where, like, this guy had to go get one stone to be able to repair his TCs with wood. God, fire is being such a nerd. Such a nerd. <laughs> um, but they changed that. So, like, now you don't need to have one stone. But... Imagine how punishing that would be for Draken. He'd have to wander out here to get a little bit of stone. It really made the cumin boom actually kind of awkward. So these churches, right? You can garrison monks inside of them. Um, you can garrison vills inside of them. They do fire arrows, but it's not an insane amount of arrows. But it's a monastery, right? And now we've got Rams from Fire, who is way behind in vills. And he is just all over Draken right now. And still with the scouts. Still with the scouts! Fire! It's just crazy, dude. Like, Draken has been following him all feudal age, it feels like. We're going to have knights on the way. We're going to have monks. Now, Draken's trying to make step lancers, which feels very natural. But can he even produce that many if his stable's about to go down? Fire's got full map control. He has 23 villagers behind. He is behind by 2,000 collected resources. But when you get resources, you need to spend them. And if you spend them on things your opponent can simply just convert, that's not going to help you too much, is it? Siege Workshop from Draken. He is completely penned in here. 
And he needs to add some siege here. Behind this, if he can. He cannot engage against this. Honestly, Draken, it's been a rough game. That conversion was unlucky for you. Go counterattack. Get into Fire's eco, man. Fire's not expecting that. I think that's the way you do it here. That or like you loop around to the hill and try and get reinforcements. But such a good job from Fire. And Draken just didn't expect this level of pressure. I think he expected pressure, but if he expected more, he would have maybe gone for some siege. And oh god, that is a that is a tilt delete, but also a smart play. Draken has to delete three lancers. Because those lancers would have switched sides. Siege is on the way here. This siege workshop has done so much. I love the pike upgrade too. I love the fact there's pikes in here. I also love the counterattack from Draken. And believe if he can keep this siege workshop up, that's not going to help. If he can keep the workshop up, we are about to have a very interesting game. Because fire is wide open at home, but he does have some pikes. He must have expected this. 25 villager lead. That's how good the Cumans are, because this has been bad for Draken. This has been painful. But he's still in it. Siege is going to go down, though. He doesn't have his own monks on the way. It's like he has the right idea. But fire's just been so fast to a lot of this. Fire with the greater army. Fire with the gold control. Draken headed over to stone. Draken not ready to call it quits. But he's still got these churches. These churches are menacing too. It's like... I don't think the arrow fire from the churches actually does that much damage. But I think the fact that it can do some damage really gets in your head. Let go to the Lancers. Draken's eco is insane. Can he get this off of his face? Two step Lancers. They're faster than Knights. Time for you to be annoying. And also, good luck defending your eco at the same time. <laughs> choo 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 choo. Okay, sorry. Thought the. Bram was actually going to get in there. Nice repairs from Fire. Actually, really well played. Also, Fire knows that Draken's stuck in here. So he's trying to make sure that Draken doesn't escape. And he is now in the middle on gold. Uh, the other Lancers died? I think? Yes. You know what I think would be so cool here for Draken? Is you just let him have this. We saw a game earlier today with Andy and with um, Bad Koala where one player had full gold control, but a worse eco, and the player in, I mean, it was a different game, but the player in Draken's position just looped around here, dropped a castle, and took this gold. And it's like, what are you going to do? Are you going to take this gold or this gold for me? There's still accessible golds out there. You don't have to give your opponent a good chance at a fight. Again, a great fight there from Fire. Great hit. Draken would love nothing more than for viewers to be drawn in with the wolves and with whatever title we make for this. And then have him be on the winning end of it. And ten times more than what he cares about my YouTube channel. He wants to win this series. And he's got Chinese number one pick. That Chinese number one pick is waiting for him. So if he can win here, then win with Chinese maybe we still have a series. Fire gets hit with the counters. Now, yeah, he could wall, right? But then he can't focus on the push as much, right? So you hope that, you know, the units at home are going to be able to defend for you. And look at that beautiful counterattack from Draken. So difficult to justify it. But he loses some siege. Draken, Draken, making a move. Step Lancers. What are you doing, Step Lancer? Boom! Monks are going to get stepped all over. And the great evacuation starts for Draken on the side. Can he make it there? And where is he going to go? Siege will get stepped on. Villagers are going to be on the way. Fire needs to get more army here. Otherwise, the castle will go up. And Fire saw something, man. He knows. Uh. Shh. He doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> oh, no. Fire. Oh no, he looked away for a second. His units were on stand ground. And Draken is able to get the castle up. 45 villagers. And he will have gold. And then he will have Kipchak. 
And Kipchak shreds Pikeman. And Draken. He's killed more villagers than his opponent. He's at a, oh, 100 villagers. 100. This Civ is insane. But this player is insane, guys. And what a great move from Draken here. This is a momentum swinger. And he... Sometimes, guys, you can't just look at the results. Um, you know, when you're in a player like Draken's position, you have to think about how the games went. And he will feel like this this series should be 1-1. You win this, and then you're like, okay, this level-wise, this is close. This is doable for me. Sure, it's a crazy task, but... Wow, now he's going to castle close to Fire's base. And that's just another castle that can make Kip checks. If Fire, this is a castle he will see, but he can't stop. I thought he was just going to drop the castle here. But that... You still want to have the gold control, so I get this. Also, I think Fire played well. Honestly, you just have to go fast castle against the humans. Feudal Age pressure, you just fall too far behind. And I think you also need to push the TCs, which obviously was complicated for Draken, but he never lost his TCs. He never lost many bills. Fire looking to attack here. Another one! <laughs> now Draken's going to drop a castle here. I mean, it's just the Civ is wild if you can execute properly. Because, again, I don't think Fire's had an awful game. Wow. And there we go. Castle's going to go up. And now, I mean, how are you supposed to protect this eco if you're Fire? Draken will need to defend from this, though. Fire has gone full arena player with, with these monks, man. It's kind of funny because that's what Draken is, is known for doing. And... I mean, this is terrifying. Redemption is in. So he can convert Siege. He converted some buildings here, which actually gives nice vision to fire. Mm. The thing is, though, like, can Kipchex just micro this down so easily? And uh, fire's imping? Which with, with which TC? Oh, he just canceled it. He canceled it. Okay, he went imp in this TC, realized that's not good. And now hasn't clicked him since because he's distracted. Uh, did he for... Uh... Fire... Okay, he's distracted. He converted Kipchex. He might think he clicked up to Imp. He might not realize he canceled it. I'm not sure which. Like, there was a big reason to cancel it. But it feels like maybe he didn't try to? Still pushing. He's pushing three TCs here. Uh, but if you're not going to be an imp, and I don't even know what you could have done with imp if you get there, you're not catching up in this one. Here comes Draken. Draken with villagers around. Can you guys feel the nerves too? Like, Not so much nerves, it's just like... It's just been a messy game. It's just been a messy, messy game. Bodkin now for Draken. I know a lot of people like to talk smack on my Kip checks, but it's a timing. It's like the perfect unit for a Civ that can gain an eco lead like this and units and enemies normally go siege and pike against. And then it's just so cheap and so easy to mass in these moments. In, in like late stages, they're really not that strong, which is why I think a lot of people Kind of talk down on them. Okay, so fire's not imping. Wait, hold on. Fire sold 1,000 food for 900 gold. Okay, he's going to drop a castle. Fire thinks he's imping. Fire thinks he's imping. I think he's dropping this castle for Trebs. And he's like, oh, wow, I'm on the way to the Imperial Age, and I happen to also have this much food. This is amazing. Let's sell it all. And so he sells it all. And then in a moment, he's going to be like, Oh, that's how I had the food. I'm only speaking from experience. <laughs> Soon he'll realize. And, uh, well, I mean, fire. He has a castle that protects his gold, at least. Another castle from Draken. Draken should really be taking the hill, right? Draken is soon going to have more villagers in the middle. And Fire has villagers on the map. And 
Neither player really has a lot of food eco. Okay, more camels get deleted there from Draken. Castle's going up. <laughs> this is just such a fun game. <laughs> I can't really make a lot of sense of it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just, it's just turned into madness. Complete and utter madness. Hey, listen, guys. If fire does not take more losses at home and somehow continues to kill Vils with Manaspa... <gasps> and knights over here. Fire's killed 40 villagers. That number has gone up a lot. I might believe in the Kipcheks, but Kipcheks can't take out castles and town centers. Draken is kind of abandoned to the majority of what it was a starting base. Fire sees him here. Fire sees him here. And fire has made life difficult for Draken here. Draken doesn't know where to go. These Kipcheks are protecting these villagers. What in the... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this is for the wolves. Yeah, wolf rush me again. Where are your wolves now? Where are your wolves now? Yeah, that's what I thought. You bring five wolves to my base, how about I build five castles? Oh, that's not going to be denied. Um, this is just this is just chaos. This is just chaos. Fire's got zero on food, and now fire is full evacuation mode. So they both will have kind of evacuated their starting base. Fire with rams. Fire with rams. Fire with monks. Uh, maybe. Draken needs to get kip checks here. Now I I could tell you what he just did. He patrolled units home to this. But they're catching the opponent's buildings. You see how he realized that? It's what happens when you are patrolling out of your enemy's main eco. Okay, Imp is coming in for Draken in this TC. Which should not go down. And he's got 35 Kipjacks. Kipjacks do decent enough for Siege. You can lose that castle. The, this castle will not go down. These Kipjacks are really strong here. Uh, Fire will lose his town center. Fire will lose his market, his barracks. Fire is potentially even losing his mind right now, but he will not have a way to break Draken. And I think, even though this has taken some time, I think Draken should be able to win this, provided Fire doesn't find one big move soon. Um, I mean, Fire's got crazy vision over here. He could, if it's a closer game, maybe raid it, but he can't stop Kipchak in this mass. And there's more castles than any other military building right now if you're Draken. Well, Fire noticed this, though, because Draken is taking stone right next to his houses. And Draken's going to back away from that. I think, I think we do see the Imperial Age when Imp is in. Like, I think... Well, maybe not, actually, because it's been a messy one. But, I mean, I mean, come on. <laughs> Someone get these villagers a mule cart for the these trees. Fire is stuck in the corner. Draken's going to defend this. Fire still, he's going to make a push. But when you see him, maybe then you realize this could be the end. Uh, did I say we see the Imperial Age when Imp is in? Guys, it's been seven hours. Cut me some slack. I meant see the GG when Imp is in, all right? We're, we're definitely gonna... I wasn't wrong. We're definitely gonna see the Imp when Imp is in. See, look, Imp is in. We see the Imp. And so does Fire. The GG is called. Wow. I mean... Nightmarish start from Draken. Let's give him credit. Let's not just say, Oh, Cumin's too strong. You have to execute, right? And he was getting completely flexed on. He had wolves in his base. He had those scouts running around. He had double church on his face siege push monks his buildings getting converted but the counter-attacking and his stubbornness to stay alive and then eventually that crazy rush to the middle for the for the gold when a lot of players wouldn't do that remember he didn't have much army at that time was a really big play for him so naturally people on youtube i'm just going to make editing easy main event of hidden cup february 25th through march 3rd where the best players that are in it will have their identity hidden so, I don't know. Maybe in this qualifier, Draken's going to qualify. If somebody picks color six, which Draken started with, uh, picks humans on Gold Rush, loses 63 villagers, 
builds five castles, including three at the enemy base. Draken confirmed, right? Um, but yeah, it will be a tough ride for Draken from here. We'll see. Main event, though, will be awesome. More videos to come. You guys probably already know. But it will be live on YouTube and Twitch. So keep an ear out. Would be awesome to have you. Um, yeah, more res collected. I mean, that's just insane. Well played from Fire. I think the big moment from Fire was losing a mass of monks right before this castle came up. There was a couple monks here. And it had those monks got conversions, maybe this castle never goes up. But Draken did send 30 villagers. He sent so many. So it's really hard for me to say what else to really do there if you're fire. All right. So tons of people are here right now to see if Draken can take us to a game five. And Draken has gone for his number one pick in the Chinese. Fire also had the Chinese on his draft. And he won with that in the first game. Draken has saved Chinese for this. Now, if there's one weakness for the Chinese, one area in which they struggle, it would be areas in which they lack food. And Fire, with the Incas, already has come forward with this eagle, and he is going to try and steal whatever he can. A little greedy, because they start with the llama. Might not think that Fire needs the food, but he does. it's not about him. It's about the enemy. And that's 200 food down the drain for a civilization that already starts with less food. So... It's it's a big deal here, and it really is the main determining factor in how well a player opens in Feudal Age with the Chinese. Have they found their food? Have they pushed in their deer? I like the decision from Fire. Because again, even if you don't scout your initial res, the Chinese player is normally never going to come steal stuff from you because they're going to compensate for any losses by pushing the deer. So... You have that, but also you start with the llama. So, like, you start with extra food. So, like, right now, um, fire still hasn't found this. Still hasn't found this. But he has time to figure it out. So, we will, uh, we will see. Uh, thank you, Chrysalis, for the five gifted subs as well. Holy crap, guys. Uh, Critique, Staff X, Pyro Llamas. Thank you. Convenient timing there, Pyro Llama. The llama was eaten already, but it was there. So, you know, man-at-arms, not really something we see as frequently from the best players on Arabia these days. It's been a change within the last year. But um, I think against Chinese, I would love to see that. And also against Draken, in all honesty. Draken's not as accustomed to playing Arabia. So I think he might not be able to deal with that level of pressure as much as a experienced Arabia player might. I think Draken's food will be fine-ish. Um, he's got a pig scouting. Mm, could push into deer. Obviously not ideal. He'd prefer to have a few, a bit more sheep. Look at how much food Fire has. Dang. Uh, Papa Sparta says, please tell us why Dave is a character in Hidden Cup. Did he tell you to do that? No, if you'll believe it. I did not even think that people would see that, uh, you know, that, that, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That comparison? No, that's whatever. I didn't think they would, it would look like Dave. I didn't think about it until everyone said Dave, 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 when I announced it. The resemblance, thank you, that's the word I'm looking for, um. But yeah, basically, so I don't know if you guys are familiar with the structure of the heroes. But we are going to stick to the structure we've had for the last two. So we will have a siege weapon. We will have a, a, a female hero, right, from history. We will have a cheat code. We will have a ship. We will have a king. We will have a pope or a monk unit. We will have, um, you know, infantry. We'll have cav. We'll have... All the areas represented, so we will have Asia, you know, Europe, South America, and so on. So, uh, we ran out of trebuchets because Hidden Cup 2 was Bad Neighbor. Hidden Cup 3 was God's Own Sling. And then I think Hidden Cup 4 was Warwolf. So there's no more treb heroes in the game. We move to a Bombard Cannon. And that Bombard Cannon happens to be a bald man with a beard who many people say looks like Dave. So, um, so yeah, that's the deal. All right. More gifted subs. Dang, thank you guys. So what is Fire seen? Big moment here, man. All the momentum will be with Draken if Draken wins this game. 
And Fire knows about the wood line, knows about the gold, knows about the berries, knows about the wood. What about Draken? Draken's like, well, I can see myself walling. But Draken does not know about the man at arms. And his build is definitely not designed well here for fast army. But I've seen this from Draken so many times with Chinese. He's just, he needs to wall up to feel safe. So he's trying to envision the walls. And you know what denies walls? You know what gets a lot of pressure in right away, early feudal? That would be man at arms. But hold on, Draken, greed. Greed investment, maybe paying off. Fire's got villagers here. You're the scout from Draken. And kill this. Fire, he has a decision to make. It doesn't look like he wants to show Draken this. Here he goes. It's actually not great for Fire that his villagers are separate from his militia, and his militia were separated from the, um, words are hard, eagle. Sorry, long day. I mean, if you get the walls down, you maintain your villager lead, you still have cheaper techs, this wall's gonna go up, and he might get away with it. He now knows this is here. This will be awkward for the wood line because he needs to chop this tree to really squeeze him in there, but... Mm, house, house. Yeah, this is like... This is definitely very arena player meets Arabia, right? Where they, they go for more of the house walls than anything. But I think if you have the double lumber camp, you're normally okay. What makes it weird now is you need to leave this wood and go to the wood that's exposed. And, oh, wow, Draken found some pigs. And he's bringing them home. He did not have the resources he would have wanted. Here he goes. Fire. Just passing. Fire. Just passing. Fire. Just trying to block the wall with the spearman and doesn't get the block. Nice job. Fire behind this, just now getting bid axe. And the Chinese have not been broken. Fire's man at arms. Haven't really been able to do much. There's been no real solid follow up with range units here at all. Fire walled in the tower. Not fully, but I like the fact that he walled in most of the tower. It still could hurt him. He didn't wall the whole thing in. And here comes the follow up now from Fire, but Draken with the villager lead here. And he really does not want to be broken. Nice shot from Fire. Fire's done a lot of annoying things in the last two games. That should be an archer kill. Every single day of the week, that should be an archer kill. But Draken didn't see it. He's too distracted. Oh, man. That could that could have been so good. Fire has to defend from this. He's pre-walled everything. Draken really struggling. Really struggling. I think he just saw the ranged units. Yep, he definitely just saw the ranged units, and he was trying again to wall up and protect himself here. And that is a lot of army that he can't fight right now. There he sees an archer. He can't engage because there's a spearman. And fire. Just non-stop pressure here on Draken. And you're seeing why this is maybe his weakest map. And why fire picked it as a home map. It's really... You know, if Draken loses this game and loses the series, it's the Islands game that it comes back to. I think these two have been very close. We've had four games. I feel like Draken has outplayed Fire in two of them. The one that he won. And then the Islands game where he lost. But still, Draken in it. And still is Chinese. He's never going to need to build houses again because he built so many. And Fire's economy, arguably worse. No, definitely is worse than what Draken has now, even though the inefficiencies are there. Hmm. Someone says, during my last job interview, the applicant actually talked about a game. Wait, are you interviewing people? Did you hire them? You better have hired them. Who cares about their qualifications? If they play Age of Empires, they clearly have good taste. Skirms, Archer. This is this can be awkward for Draken, but very doable. This is obviously awkward. You hired them. Perfect. There you go, guys. Put Age of Empires on your resume. Mm. Feels like a game that is definitely winnable here for Draken. 
as long as he can just take another wood line, get his walls down, and get up to Castle Age, because I think what Fire is going to be prompted to do now is switch out of range units and into Skirms. Or, sorry, <laughs> Skirms are a range unit, into Eagles, because his opponent has so many Skirms right now. Beautiful micro from Draken. Let's go! Let's go. Nice find. Fire also just got Fletching, so he loses the units. Market coming up. Every arena player's best friend. This army here will be annoying, but if Draken just sits behind these walls, he'll be fine. Hello, T90 and chat. I should prep for an important job interview, but here we are. Ah, that's what prompted that whole thing. Okay. I think this is auto scout. T90 auto in chat? Auto scout? Oh, dude, that explains the score. Look at the scouting. 2 HP scout on auto scout. Auto scout does not want to be a fighter. Here come the skirms, skirms, whittling this stuff down. Fire, losing more units. Fire wasn't able to break his opponent here. Not bad for Draken at all. But the man-at-arms did break through. And it's been a long series. It's a little late for Draken, maybe. I know he's Europe, from Europe, right? I know Fire just got home from work and whatnot. They had to play later than some of the other sets. And oh, man, it's just the small things. Fire? Huh? Huh? Okay, well, Fire distracted as well, probably in the main fight. We'll clear up the skirms. I don't actually think losing these skirms is a bad ping for Draken right now, though. I think it, it it's a pain, though, that this is open, and he really needs to plug that gap. He can leave this gold, and he can just use this gold now. It's fine. What a wood line to build a new lumber camp on, though. <laughs> Feels like Draken. I mean... If he could just wall here, just wall this, focus on keeping, you know, defending this area, you're okay here. The second barracks now for fire. Doesn't have much army. But he will have... I forget exactly how long it takes to make a knight. But Draken will be castle aged about 30 seconds faster. This army from fire could do something before the knight come out, comes out of the stable. A very close game. Res Collected is close. I think you'll take this in some ways of your fire. Like, obviously you want to kill Vils. But in a game where you don't kill villagers, this is the type of way to stay competitive with the Chinese. Yeah, he's done a nice job. Nice job from Draken 2 not to lose any, though. He's quite a few weak villagers out here. Draken Hype. Draken in Castle Age. This is still open. This is still a problem. It's hard to protect this because there's a tower there. Knights on the way from Draken. Knights should be here just in time to be able to push this back. And then he could always try and rewall it. And again, this wood situation is just kind of painful. Chinese have T-Vertex, protects, so eco upgrades should be able to fly in right now. Not happening yet for Draken. Maybe just a little bit of exhaustion here, especially because game two, that type of game can fry your brain a bit. Fire, I like what he's doing behind this, adding the monastery for monks to deal with a counter, adding some spears too. Trying now to come back in here. He won't make it through though, at least not initially. Nice job from Draken. Very nice job from him. He needs to hit the other house with a villager though. He's not doing it. Oh man, and the units are in. That is so annoying. That is so annoying. Your knights are on the front. This is maybe what he's looking at. But pikemen upgrade for fire. And the pikemen can defend from that. It'll just lose one vil. And again, fire making life really difficult for Draken. But Draken having the greater economy. Very big difference from what we saw in the second game. But the theme's still there. Second town center from Draken. Wow. The lack of wood efficiency makes me cry. Like... Third lumber camp on the tiny nugget of wood here. He can take this fight before the pikeman mask gets too great. And once the pikeman mask goes up, once the monks are out, it becomes tough for Draken. Fire just now TC number two. First time I've been able to wa actually watch on Twitch is Alpha Crit. Thank you for the two months. Glad you could make it. Here's a question. 
How many people do you think will watch on YouTube? Watch the live show on YouTube? So I know Twitch is like normal for a lot of people, but also a lot of people. They don't really feel like coming to Twitch. They might not really like some of the emote culture or whatever. Like for, let's say, main event, final day. Final day of Hidden Cup 5 main event. You had to guess a number. I, I don't know. I've, I, I have no clue. I have Nilly's numbers from NAC to go off of. And he had quite a few people watch on YouTube, but... 20k on YouTube? That'd be sick. Well, I'm excited to stream it on YouTube, too. I, I think it's nice to have it on multiple platforms. Look at Fire. He's attacking. He's also waiting for this. He knows. And great job from Draken to counterattack. But conversions... Just one conversion there. Could have been more. Fire's just like, I'm gonna sit here, and I'm gonna kill those knights if you come deal with me. It's just so annoying. Oh, man. That knight can't escape. Hey, those monks are still locked on. And the knights run away here from Draken. 49 vils versus 58. This is so intense. And oh, it's a trap! Uh, run right through them. Okay. Because <laughs> you can't delete the house because then your villagers die. That's kind of funny. Depends. Weekday, I'll probably be watching on YouTube because I'll be watching at work. Okay, makes sense. Well, I think the idea is, right, like, YouTube will be a lot more accessible for people who don't typically watch live streams. And I think there's... Type a one in my chat if you came to Twitch because of Age of Empires in some capacity, right? A lot of people are going to have already made that jump. But if you've never made that jump, I feel like it's, in some ways, maybe a little bit more terrifying to show up if the viewership's insane on Twitch. So, I don't know. Streaming it on YouTube. Could be awesome. You probably saw a YouTube video. We're like, wow, this guy streams live. Wow, I can subscribe for free with my Amazon Prime subscription for free? His emotes look like that? Sign me up! Only some of you, but... Nice fight! Good stuff! This is gonna be horribly awkward if we don't get a single prime sub here. I'm really fishing. Horrible. Shameless. Draken about to build a castle that could take us to the fifth game. Does he go forward with it? Uh, no. <laughs> if he knew about this, I think he would drop the castle here right away. Could actually be an argument to maybe drop a castle here. Kind of protects this gold. It clears up the tower. Gives you wood. But he drops the castle here. Oh, man. Fire will not want this castle to go up because then his siege push will not work anymore. Fire has four monks. This, this castle might be denied. But does Fire want to sit underneath the TC? No, Fire does not have siege on the way. This castle will eventually go up. It's just a matter of how patient Draken is. Delete the knight, 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 doesn't delete the knight. Over here, we have an attack. Draken is focused on the castle. Great find from Fire. Good picks. Castle still hasn't gone up. Siege still isn't on the way, though. Castle will go up. Villagers here going down. Fire tying up the villager count. This is what happens when you're under pressure so consistently. And you're building something as important as a castle here. Draken will be kicking himself once he realizes this. It's actually good for Draken, hear me out, that a lot of his villagers died behind castles, or sorry, behind houses and buildings, because he will not see the bodies when he looks over here. If he looks over here. Okay, he's gonna see the bodies. There's a lot of bodies. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, Draken. Draken, no! He notices! He sees the bodies! That's bad! He, that's bad! There's so many bodies visible! Man, like, these four eagles themselves killed 20 villagers there. And the crazy thing is, this game is still winnable for Draken. He's still got three TCs. But I love what Fire's done here. He's just stayed in it the whole game. And you just, you might not kill your opponent the first time. You might not kill him the second time. But you just keep at it. And that's kind of what Arabia players are good at. And Fire's going to find, even using the Knights, he just converted. He's going to go right back to this area. And like, Wood has just been a nightmare for Draken this whole game. Balance has been a nightmare this whole game. 
and look at all these different areas. Whoa, teleport bug! All right, teleport bug. Thanks, DE. Please fix that before the main event. Thank you. But, um, they're aware. That's all I can say on it. Oh, Draken. It seems like fire. He's taking so much focus away from his own base right now. Draken is spending more time inside of his TCs than out of it. The food eco for Draken is amazing. Uh, or, or rather, sorry, for fire. The eco upgrades are also fantastic for fire. He's on four TCs, and he is going to castle here. And you know what that means. If your opponent has a forward castle, and you too build a forward castle, it should immediately mean Imperial Age for Trebs. Especially when Draken is spending so much time putting out the fires from fire. Great play. And think about game the, the Islands game in game two for me. You had Draken getting the lead, right? Um, you know, I don't think you can argue he necessarily had a better sieve, but Draken had a nice lead, and Fire found a way to come back in it. This game, it wasn't maybe as significant, but sieve wise you know, control-wise, army-wise, eco-wise, stat-wise, in many ways, Draken, he had the lead. Better players are able to find moments where they can stabilize things, and that's what Fire has done here, and... I think Draken is going to have a ton of Chukunu, which could be really strong, but I don't know if he's going to want to build this one. <laughs> oh, man. Your opponent's on Eagle as well. So upgraded Eagles makes life so much more difficult for these Chukunu, which are actually really good in Castle Age against Eagles and Siege. But still, again, it's just fire all the time, finding a way. These eagles are hoovering around my base. And it's just, you know, a lot of people don't like this mobility aspect because it is so annoying. This is why Draken needed to take a little bit control, and, and that is something with the um, with the Chinese sometimes you struggle with, is taking good control over the game because you, you're just so focused on keeping your eco safe. It's hard to invest into eco and military at the same time. Draken is on the way to the Imperial Age. I think he sensed this needed to come. And he sold a lot of stone to get up. But when he sees Imp from fire, he will not be pleased. Again, fire. Again. Just gonna YOLO through here. This is still open. Still YOLOing through here. This tower did so much. It actually killed zero units. But this started it all for fire. Fire says, you can't take wood here. I'm gonna hit you on wood here. And then I've got you trapped on the front too. He's just He just knows. Where this guy is at. And Fire's been a pro for a, over a decade. For a reason. And not the first time in this qualifier we say. There's a reason these guys have been around for so long. And can still cut it at the high level. Draken. Micro against the Siege. <laughs> okay. That was funny. <laughs> that Shukunu deserved it for switching sides. <laughs> oh no. But the GG's called. Draken takes the final shot because he was typing out the GG. And he gives the well played and the good luck good luck next to Fire who advances on to round number three. It wasn't the cleanest display that we've seen from Fire throughout his career. But again, it's just consistency with the right things. And in that Islands game, he found a way to make something happen. Um, to pull Rabbit out of a hat at times, right? He... He killed, I remember monks dying. I remember uh, him having like three war galleys, killing fish and distracting. And uh, that maybe just something Draken will regret. And then this game too, just finding a way, eventually killed a lot of villagers and made Draken work for it every step of the way. Fire wins 3-1, as many people predicted. Brazilian flags flying in my chat. So many Brazilians watching fire. They rooted for Dogao earlier. They rooted for, for Fire here. Stark is also in it as well. But Fire moves on. We'll look to the brackets now and see exactly what the uh, what the future holds for Fire. I think the future will be tough for Fire. Um, because I, I, I seem to recall... Oh, okay. So we don't know yet actually who Fire goes up against. But it will be Fire against the winner of Tato and Sorokuma. And 
Tato Sorokuma is tomorrow. Um, Tato is a big favorite. So I would say that Tato most likely going to win there. I think Tato Fire, I have to lean heavily towards Tato. But at this point, I mean, Fire's... What's the prize pool for, for losing this round? 370? Um, 375, guys. It's sick. And even if you make it to the next round and then you don't qualify, you still get 600 bucks. That's amazing. So I don't think Fire's going to complain too much about that one. But I, we'll see what his mindset is right against Tato. We'll see how much confidence he has. I hope Fire plays his game, but Tato's incredibly strong. Did lose a game to the 96 seed. Tato, the first seed in the qualifier, lost a game to the 96 seed. Crazy. <laughs> Does this mean Tato is underperforming in the qualifier? Shall we have a disturbance in the force? Maybe. Sorkum is good, but, I mean, Tato, really, really good. So, um, yeah, maybe it's Sorkum and Fire. We'll see. Maybe we shouldn't be saying it. Of all the players in the qualifier, uh, I think Tato shows, like, the most consistency, right? Um, but we don't need to really talk about the hypothetical. We'll see what happens. All right.